Welcome, Ponzi Coder here. We're going to take a deep dive into JavaScript and the wonderful world of uh, Node.js. More specifically, we're going to be creating a CRUD app, a basic CRUD app, for those that kind of have a Rails background like me, utilizing some of the principles of, of Rails to create this uh, CRUD app. And we're going to use a new framework called Sales.js which is an MVC server-based framework that makes this really, really easy to do. It also makes it very easy to kind of get an idea of how Node works, how it differs from Rails, but you can see some parallels and paradigms that, that make it a little bit easier to make that transition. One big caveat, if you are a Node aficionado, if you know Node real well, you're not going to learn anything new here. This is going to be really basic stuff. It's uh, basically documenting my foray into trying to learn uh, new technologies. And for those that have looked at my screencast before, you know that I do this so that I have breadcrumbs. I have some documentation of how I learned something. So if I forget, because I'm old, I can go back to and kind of relearn quickly something maybe that became unclear because of my age. A lot of folks have found it beneficial to kind of take the ride with me. So you can judge that for yourself, see whether it's uh, worthwhile, and you'll probably be able to make that determination pretty quickly in the next few minutes, this series of screencasts. So let's get started. What the heck is Node.js? Node.js is a series of libraries that run in conjunction with this thing called V8. It was created uh, by Google, and it's a it's a virtual machine that allows you to run JavaScript uh, amongst other places on the server. So it kind of breaks out JavaScript from being confined just to the browser to being able to run that on the server. And Sales.js runs on top of Node and provides this MVC pattern to make it a lot easier to create CRUD apps. It also excels, although this is beyond the scope of the screencast that I'm doing, it also creates some really just add water APIs, uh, backend APIs for single page apps, like writing things in Backbone, delivering a JSON API really, really easily. But I found um, that it was easy to kind of take the first, the first dive at understanding, you know, this new technical stack to using something that we're familiar with. In this case, Rails, um, a scaffold, and just kind of deconstructing that and recreating it in sales. That it doesn't necessarily mean that's the way you're gonna write sales apps. In fact, there's a lot of helper methods and things that make it a lot easier to do in sales. But before we kind of delve into the magic, um, I wanna see how to do that in a very verbose and basic way. There's a few things I want to get, some, a few concepts I want to get out on the table. Um, one is that sales is a module. Um, modules are very similar to Ruby gems, and it provides a way to have very modular programming. Sales has dependencies. One of them is a, another framework called express.js, uh, and there are others, um, but it's all taken care of uh, for you automatically as far as the installation of those dependencies, and they work together to create the app. As far as deployment, unlike Rails, you're not going to need a separate web server like Apache or Nginx. Through uh, this framework, it's going to create its own web server, which to me kind of confused me for, you know, at the beginning. And so I wanted to point that out, that there is uh, a web server or the web server that we're going to be using is created through, through these libraries. Another kind of Rails concept that, that is different is migrations. And I'm going to go into detail of how these work. But basically, sales does not require migrations. You're not going to have to do something similar to rake DB migrate when you cr uh, create your... Uh, schema database. It's going to do it for you in the background. Also, that lends the 
the question of databases and how those work. Um, by default, Sales uses an in memory, if I could spell. So you'll you'll notice, uh, you know, if I just do that, that means I can't spell it. So I'm just kind of trying to fake it there. The database is in memory, although there are adapters uh, like Rails that you can use. No schema databases. Uh, schema-based databases, and I plan on doing some additional screencasts that show you how to do that. Okay, to review, we are going to build a basic CRUD app, very similar to a Rails scaffold. It's going to be called Sales Demo, and let's get started.